Hello everyone, my name is Katie and nice to meet you. <laughs> I have been an undergraduate student at the University of Maryland College Park for almost two years at this point, and thus I would say I have completed a quite bit of studying. The daily practice of studying and completing assignments is something all college students in the country and around the world have to go through all the time. Actually, according to a national study conducted at Grand Canyon University in 2022, about half of all students study for three or more hours every single day. And so that is to say, many of us do a lot of studying. As far as at the University of Maryland, many students always flock to the usual places such as ESJ, the Edward St. John Learning Center, or the first few floors of the McKeldin Library and maybe even their residence hall lounge area. However, it can be refreshing for a student to switch up their environment every so often to clear a foggy mind and spruce up some new thoughts and just everything. So today I'm here to show you some unique and interesting places to study around campus at the University of Maryland College Park places that you may or may not have heard of before if you're a current student. So come along with me on this warm, sunny April Wednesday to explore the UMD campus a little bit more and hopefully find a new interesting study spot to check out. The first stop of the day is going to be the Michelle Smith Performing Arts Library located in the Clarice Performing Arts Center near North Campus. This building is home to performing arts majors. The library is usually a quiet and peaceful place with lots of different places to choose from to sit. The high ceilings in the main atrium offer a nice open space, which I've heard encourages brainstorming and creation. Ooh. We are now headed on our way from the Clarice Performing Arts Center onto H.J. Patterson Hall. H.J. Patterson Hall houses the International Services Office as well as the Education Abroad Office. The lobby is just a smaller, calming area in my opinion that has some nice natural lighting and couches as well as chairs. Just a short walk away from H.J. Patterson is the McKeldin Library. Now don't get confused because I know this is a very popular place to study on campus. I just wanted to bring attention to this specific room on the fourth floor called the reading room. If you like big wooden tables with a lighting and nice wall art, then this is the place for you. The room is usually quiet and offers these nice large tables with quaint lighting on them and on the ceiling. The wall art surrounding the walls highlights points in UMD's history. I find it interesting to look over at the pieces or the tall windows when I need a momentary break from my screen. Now we are on our way to the Art Sociology Building to check out the Art Library. Fun fact, today was actually the first day of the farmer's market during the semester, which is housed right in front of Taws Hall on Wednesdays. Now this art library is on the smaller side, but offers a cozy feeling. It features a cute loft where you can sit and face out over the tall windows. However, beware of this location just because it usually closes at 6 p.m., which has caught me off guard more than a few times. Last but certainly not least, we are now on our way to the final study spot, the Idea Factory. This building opened just under a year ago, and to my knowledge, classes are not really held here. Therefore, many students may not be aware of what it has to offer. There is a cute space to study outside here. Heading inside, there is a great space for hanging out, sharing a meal, or working right outside of the Idea Central Cafe. I have spent countless hours sitting here studying for exams with a nice iced coffee. So that's it, those were my five recommendations for unique and fun study spots around campus that you may or may not have heard of before. I hope you enjoyed this video and tell your friends. <laughs>